From the previous video, we discuss which domain or area is most relevant to an AI career. We also talk about which technologies should be prioritized among these three vendors, AWS, Cisco, and NVIDIA. We already talked about various AWS and Cisco certifications. Hmm. Ever wondered what certifications NVIDIA offers? Let's break it down. And as usual, comment below and shout out your location like nice video Dean from Brunei, Luxembourg, Qatar. But if you are in a large country, please also mention your city like from Kyoto, Prague, Albuquerque, etc. And also don't forget to like and follow our social media pages. I'm here now in NVIDIA training and certification page. And as I scroll down, their certifications has two tracks. We have the infrastructure and developers. Now, in this video, we will only be focusing on in the infrastructure track. So we have four certifications here. The first one is NVIDIA Certified Associate AI Infrastructure and Operations. This is NCA AI IO. What a really bad certification name, NCA AI IO. Anyway, so this is the associate level certification of NVIDIA under infrastructure track. So let's look at the details. Now, the certification is 50 question, 60 minute long. Okay, so one hour and the price is 125 US dollars. Level is associate and subject is obviously AI infrastructure and operations. Now the prerequisite is just a basic understanding of data center infrastructure. Okay, and the candidates or ideal candidates, we have plenty business line owners, data center technicians, service engineers, DevOps engineers, IT managers, network engineers, sales, sys admin, soul arc, system architectures. And uh, look at the topics covered. We have uh, computing use cases, so basically servers. Now AI machine learning, uh, so there are many different machine learning, but in NVIDIA standpoint, machine learning and AI are centered more on deep learning and accelerated computing. Um, GPU architecture, which is the main product of NVIDIA, uh, NVIDIA software suite, infrastructure and operation considerations for adapting to NVIDIA solutions. Now let's look at the preparation materials. Enroll in self-paced training. So there is a course here, AI Infrastructure and Operation Fundamentals. Let's click this. Uh, let's open it in a new tab. So this is the course name. And um, yeah, there, there's uh, uh, some information here. Why should you take the course? What will I learn? Course topic, etc. We'll skip this. We'll just click buy now. Okay. What is this? Uh, there you go. So as you see, we are now in the... Uh, self-paced training page. And we have two options. One is the single course, which only costs $50. We also have platinum membership, which allows us to access most, if not all, NVIDIA courses. It says here, it does not include courses from Deep Learning Institute, uh, but still 250 for annual, for yearly subscription is not bad. Uh, it also says here, the 100% coupon code. So let's, look at this what if i click this will i pay 50 yes dollars or i'll get the coupon code 100 percent. oh there you go oh no actually no there uh i don't know how to get that coupon code how will i get the uh 100 coupon code uh yeah you know how let me know uh but basically it's just 50 US dollars for this um, associate level training material. Anyway, so let's look at the uh, um, additional materials here. So we have links for AI, we have links for GPU, we have links for infrastructure, networking, and uh, yeah, basically that's it. Now, let's look at the other certifications. So we have the NCP, we have three tracks or three specialization, NCP stands for NVIDIA Certified Professional, and the three specializations are AI uh, Infrastructure, or AII, AI uh, 
operations or AIO and AIN, AI networking. So let's look at these three professional level certifications. Okay, so first the NCP AII. All right, so it's 90 minutes, is, um, so it's longer now. 65 questions, 90 minutes, and the price is much more expensive. Okay, so from 125 US dollars, it went up to 400 USD. Okay, the level's professional. We already know that. Uh, the question is 60 to 70 questions. Now, the candidates are, okay, so what is this again? Infrastructure. All right, so this centers around the three pillars of data center, which basically storage system slash compute and networking. So data center, uh, what else? Sol solutions architect um, role is also covered by uh, this track. Okay, but basically the three pillars, network storage and system. Uh, topics covered, uh, service and network, physical layer and troubleshooting. Let, let's go down there. And by the way, under training, uh, one is the fundamentals, which is the NCA. AIIO, and there's some additional training here, the AI infrastructure professional workshop. Um, we're more interested with the blueprint. There's also a link here to study guide review, but we'll just take a look first at the exam blueprint. As you can see, we have four areas, okay? Um, we have physical layer, and uh, is it all hardware? L let's check. So we have uh, GPU drivers, uh, and video GPUs with Docker, okay, configure and manage Bluefield, configure MIG, AI and HPC, deploy Bluefield OS image to ARM. So it's not just all a physical layer here. Some of these are operating system and some features. For example, Docker. Docker is not operating system. It's more of a feature or software. Okay, so let's go to the systems and servers, basically the compute area. And by the way, this is already 35%. Uh, under system and servers, these are all not server only. This includes GPUs. Okay, not only that, uh, these are also related to hardware. Hardware operations, hardware installations, power and cooling, uh, uh, requirements for cluster design, etc. Okay, what else? Systems and network. So this is more of a uh, networking. So what we have here are network technologies, NVIDIA Spectrum X. What else? NVIDIA NVLink. So this is a high-speed direct GPU to GPU uh, intercommunication technologies. What else? Troubleshooting and optimize. So basically, we just troubleshoot GPUs, maybe networking, a little networking. What else? Storage and uh, CPUs. All right. So that is the first specialization. Let's go to the next one. NCP AIO. Okay, again, 400 USD, 90 minutes, but the topic is obviously different. Now for the candidates, okay, so as you can see, the candidates' uh, role are a little different. We have MLOps, DevOps, Ops, um, DevOps Engineer, excuse me, Solutions Architect, and I would assume less hardware here. If we're going to look at the topic covered, oh, we have a swarm, a swarm not swarm. Uh, Slurm cluster, Kubernetes, etc. So let's look at it. So here's the exam blueprint. So how many areas we have? We have four. So under administration, we have uh, administer Slurm. So what is Slurm? When we say Slurm, this is a cluster of a system that manages scheduling jobs across multiple computers. And it's not related to container clustering. Container clustering is Kubernetes. So as you can see, administration, workload management, we're all already managing two clusters, LARM and Kubernetes, which allocates more than 50% already. In installation deployment, oh, you will install a lot. Okay, this includes uh, containers. This includes, um, yeah, uh, Kubernetes, BCM, uh, Doka, okay, and under troubleshooting, we troubleshoot. Uh, Docker, BCM, storage and I.O., etc. All right, now let's look at NCP AI networking or NCP AIN. Um, if I scroll down, as you can see, the pattern is the same. 90 minutes, 400 US dollars, number of questions, 
60 more or less. It says here more or less 65. Exam preparation and uh, the audience or candidate audience will be to obvious infrastructure, network engineers, um, maybe system and storage. Okay, and the focus is obviously network architecture. Uh, what else? Let's go down to the exam blueprint. So we only have three areas. AI network architecture. So first we have uh, Ethernet and InfiniBand comparison. And for those who are not familiar with InfiniBand, so this is, um, it's not Ethernet. It doesn't use Ethernet protocol. Think of it as a more advanced Ethernet, okay? They're saying it's more optimized, it's faster, uh, but it's also cost really, really high compared to Ethernet. Uh, what else? We also have Spectrum X, configuration, optimization, security, and troubleshooting. Now, NVIDIA Spectrum X is, excuse me, NVIDIA Spectrum X is NVIDIA's end-to-end -end Ethernet networking platform that purposely built for AI, AI clouds and AI data center. So this is the majority of the uh, coverage, okay? 40%, okay? And uh, yeah, so great performance, uh, Cloud AI benchmark, use DPUs to improve network performance. And another 40% will be uh, the InfiniBand. Okay, so InfiniBand network for fabric to multi-tenancy, configure InfiniBand, subnet manager, test network, etc. All right, so uh, that's it for the three NCPs. Here is my question to you, especially to those IT newbies like fresh grads and career shifters. Since we're talking about infrastructure certification here, and yeah, let's drop the popularity. Assuming Cisco certifications and NVIDIA certifications are equally popular, yeah, just pure learning and technology upskilling, would you go for CCNA or Cisco Certified Network Associate versus NCA AIIO? Now let's go to the professional level. Which one would you choose? First are the three CCNPs. CCNP Enterprise, Data Center, Security versus NCP AII. NCP AIO and NCP AIN. Comment below if you have any questions and don't forget to hit the like button.